What's up you guys, it's Jose Zaniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today we're going to be talking about the best style trends for this spring. So looking into the future and hoping the temperatures are going to start to rise around March when spring's hit, your wardrobe is going to start changing a little bit, not only your colors, your textures and your style. So the first thing is the color green. You're going to be seeing a lot of green on the stands this year in almost all of your stores, mainly because Patone decided that green is going to be the color of the year for 2017 and it's just an awesome color. So if you don't have this color and you're looking to pick one up, a general rule of thumb is that if you're a lighter individual or pale stay away from light or bright color greens like a pastel green because it's gonna wash you out on the other hand if you're a darker individual these light and bright greens like a lime green look great on you because it adds that contrast but all in all there's two reasons why this color is just freaking awesome first of all it just makes you stand out talk about being stylish and unique while your buddy is wearing you know the average charcoal suit you can come out with that sweet hunter green suit. Instant style points. Cha-ching. But even better, believe it or not, even though it's a color that a lot of people probably don't use a lot, it's a versatile color. You can use it across a lot of scenarios. For example, you can go extremely bold, like I was just saying, go with the full green suit. If that's a little too much for you, pick up just a green jacket, whether it be a field jacket or something more trendy like this bomber suede jacket. If that's still too much for you and you just kind of want to test the waters, Go with a green shirt. There's a lot of different shades of green you can play with and it makes a great alternative to the sea of white and blue shirts that you probably have and all your friends already have. Number two is what I like to call a transitional boot. So what this means is that this is the boot that is transitioning from the winter chunky clunky boot that's waterproof and you're using it just because you want to survive to something more stylish. Yes, it's still water resistant. Yes, it still has a grip. It still will keep you warm, but it's more stylish and it doesn't have to be as functional as your winter boot. This boot, as you already know, is from Thursday Boot and our sponsor for today. So Thursday Boot is probably one of the best boot companies out there and I've talked about them before, guys. It's because, I mean, these guys just pack a lot of quality into their products for the price point you've received. If you've ever owned a Thursday Boot, you know what I'm talking about. I have my first pair of Thursday boot that I bought back December 2014 and I still wear them to this day. So that's how much quality and craftsmanship they pack into their boots. On top of that, they just have some sick styles. Anything from a Chelsea boot to a Chucka boot, which I think the Chucka boot and the Chelsea boot both make perfect transitional boots that are gonna be trending this spring. You're gonna be seeing a lot of Chelsea boots and a lot of chucka boots this season. And I'm gonna have them linked below so you guys can check them out. They have a great price point, guys, and I'm telling you, you're gonna really love them. Spring style trend number three, and this one shouldn't even be called this trend. This is a classic staple, the denim jacket. This thing is something that you will be wearing years from now. So the cool thing with the denim jacket is that you have a couple options. You can go with something more classic like this one, just a simple dark wash, or you can go with something a little bit more trendy like this Levi one. It's more distressed, more trendy, and looks great in casual outfit. While they're both great, I'm gonna go with this dark washed one just because I feel it's a little bit more versatile and you can use both casually and try to dress it up a bit. But the great thing with the denim jacket, it's that it's awesome lightweight layering piece. So it's not super thick, it's not gonna make you feel stuffy or super hot, and it's an easy layering piece, which means it requires no thought. You can throw it on top of almost anything and it's gonna layer properly you could layer it on top of a t-shirt it's gonna look great you could layer it on top of a sweatshirt it's gonna look amazing or you could layer it on top of a dress shirt it's still gonna work so a denim jacket is a definite must for this spring spring style trend number four something you've already seen this video can you guess if you kept an eye out, you already saw it. Like I said, it's not only style and color that's gonna be changing but also material and the trend for spring is gonna be suede it could come in a boot suede boot it could come in a loafer, a nice suede loafer, or even a nice suede jacket. Not only is the texture of suede super sexy and makes girls want to touch you, you're welcome. But it adds a great contrast to any outfit. Most people are always wearing either wool or cotton, so when you add that suede texture to your outfit, it has a different contrast, a more stylish contrast if you ask me. And like I said, on top of that, it just feels awesome to the touch and finally trend number five is something more casual let's talk about sneakers and that is neutral colored sneakers what you want to do is replace your regular white sneakers 
and pick up something that's a little bit more neutral, whether it be beige, blue, gray, whatever it is, the neutral colorways are definitely gonna make you look a little bit more stylish in my personal opinion than the whites. Whites are always a staple and you will always wear them, but for spring, if you wanna stand out a little bit, wanna look more stylish, pick up some neutral colorways. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. It really helps us out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to our second channel. That's it for me today. See you next time.